Hello, I'm going to give you a basic overview on the process of updating the firmware on your DJI Phantom 3. Uh, it starts by going to DJI's website and downloading the appropriate firmware package for your Phantom. In my case, I'm doing the Phantom 3 Professional, so I'll be using the firmware 1.3.2.0. So, once you download the zip file, you're going to need to copy those files onto your media card. So, and also you'll want to download the instructions as well, which also gives you further information on the upgrade process. Once you've downloaded it, you're going to have a compressed file. In that file, you'll have the bin and the as well as the PDF on upgrading. You'll need to copy the bin file to the root directory of the micro SD card that goes into your Phantom 3. The root directory being the topmost directory that's above the directory that says DCIM. And uh, the card needs to be formatted as either FAT32 or XFAT. Um, and though it should be FAT32 if it's a 32 gig card or below. And you'll also need to have um, the files copied to a USB stick to properly upgrade your controller. Or transfer the files or put it in a USB card reader. If you have a micro USB card reader. And plug into the USB port in your controller. As the one, if you have 1.1.9 firmware, uh, you will only be able to upgrade if you have this. Also, depending on if you have the uh, the A or the B version of the remote, I have the A version, model GL300A versus B. Um, they also update differently. So the safest bet for upgrading your radio control is making sure you have a USB stick with the firmware is copied to it. Once it's copied to it on this particular micro SD I have in here, um, that's the only thing I have on it. I don't have those DCIM directories, and this is formatted as FAT32. Um, once you uh, put the file in your Phantom, uh, uh, on your Phantom's SD card, you'll put it in your Phantom. Um, you will not have the radio control to power it on for the upgrade process. You'll have that off. So you'll power up your Phantom, and this is what's going to happen for roughly 25 minutes, give or take. Once the process is done, uh, you should stop hearing the beeps and you should hear see a solid uh, green light. You will then want to take the media card out of your computer, and you're gonna and you will see and you should see a text file appear in here, and it will tell you if there's a success or not. Also, during this process, we'll automatically upgrade the battery's firmware as well. If you have more than one battery, you'll want to leave this binary file on your SD card and then power cycle your Phantom with uh, the new battery each time to upgrade all of your batteries to the new firmware. And um, that is mainly it, except one other thing. If you have the A controller, um, it may pull an even different um, a 1.4 firmware instead of the 1.3 firmware to account for the differences in the two controllers. So, and your controller firmware and your Phantom firmware, instead of saying 1.3.2, I think it'll say 1.3.2 plus. So, as a side note, don't worry about that. Um, and if for any reason when you uh, power up your Phantom and you don't see it on your controller, you may need to relink the controller to your Phantom by pressing the little dot underneath your Phantom near where the uh, light bridge thing is and uh, to repair the controller to your Phantom. Anyway, that's about it as far as a brief overview. Hello, I thought I'd add them about 15 minutes in approximately. The lights on the Phantom are no longer flashing. Although, of course, the LED indicator still is over here, but the these are indicators on the arms are not. And the camera is no longer pointing straight. I'm thinking there's maybe another 10 minutes or so until this is done. Um, it's also worth noting that you should do this with a fully charged battery. Uh, 
a minimum 50%, but I recommend just topping your battery off to full charge before doing this. And your radio control is going to be off before starting this process. Just that I note that this is the Phantom with the firmware done. It's still beeping. Uh, the taillights will be flashing yellow. I turned the controller on, so now they're green. But you have this yellow green indicator light, which is indicating that it's done. And in my DJI app, in about, it now shows version 1.3.2 as the firmware. Uh, so now I'm going to do the remote control. I'm going to power off the control, put the USB stick in, power it up, let that run for 10 minutes. And then I will do a new IMU calibration, gimbal calibration, and compass calibration when I'm in an open area. And that'll do me. So I'm going to, um, actually before I do the RC, I'm going to power off and power on the Phantom a couple times with my additional batteries, then do the RC. Hello, I'm now updating my radio control remote. I have the binary files for the firmware on this USB stick, powered on the radio controller, and now you're seeing the flashing and everything in action. When that's all done with the flashing, then that should be it. And uh, that 